The course has a, a focus on a number of different tools used in a SOC. Um, what are the, 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 some of the key tools that you cover in, in SEC 450? So the tools that I cover, I've picked out what I believe to be the best of breed of all of the open source uh, SOC tools. And they're actually like shockingly good at this point. Uh, I remember, you know, five or six years ago, you probably wouldn't have wanted to use the open source solutions for a lot of the stuff you would do in a SOC. But honestly, right now, some of the open source stuff that's free is maybe some of the best. And it's incredible where it has come over the years. And so I picked out some of those tools and put them all together so that people could see um, the mindset of someone who is maybe, uh, you know, using those tools um, as, you know, a senior analyst or whatever. So we have one course uh, lab where we go through and we do a whole analysis of a situation. And I kind of have them read what I uh, would have put down in that given kind of uh, scenario. It was an alert. And we say like, here's something that happened. And I say, here's what I'd like to see kind of an alert. And so I go through and I say, this is how the delivery method, you know, happened. This is the exploit vector. This is the command and control. And we work through all the tools and chase it down. So the tools we use for that, uh, we have a SIM, which I'm using the Elastic Stack for. Uh, we have a Threat Intel platform, which I'm using MISP, uh, which is a, basically a large database that you can throw all of your malicious indicators, whether they're hash values or IP addresses or domains or anything. And that's integrated with uh, the Hive, which is the ticketing solution. And so those are the three main things we use uh, and kind of use that kind of as the, the main set of tools that SOC would have. We have where are we recording our incidents, how are we writing the details, where are we looking up the data in the SIM? And then how is that being supplemented by the stuff that we already know is bad from a threat intel platform and everything that we've collected from vendors and internally throughout time. Uh, there's a bunch of other supplemental stuff that goes with it as well. Uh, we use a, a DNS server, uh, we use a, a Raspberry Pi, well not Raspberry Pi, we use a Pi hole, which is a, a, a distribution of a DNS server that is meant to be run on a Raspberry Pi, but we use it in a Docker container and some other stuff. Uh, just kind of so people can see what it's like uh, for a DNS server to be servicing DNS requests, what kind of logs it can make, things like that. I have people run Apache <clears throat> and see the logs that come out of that as you access that and show what uh, the views of, of the logs of those kind of things would look like. Uh, we use an automation platform that kind of looks like a lot of the stuff that's out there right now called Node-RED from IBM where you're dropping boxes and you're connecting them and you're making a data flow where we say, this is a thing that kicks off something that happens and that a bunch of stuff kind of falls through and emails get sent and things get blocked and stuff like that. Um, we use Suricata as an IDS. So we run uh, some PCAPs and other various tools um, and, and uh, Moloch as a, a full PCAP engine to look at you know, actual network data uh, as it's been captured over the wire and pull stuff out of it, try to investigate a situation where there was a data breach and show how the full PCAP engine can expose that for us very quickly and identify that kind of stuff. So I tried to throw literally like one of everything that I could fit into the course mail servers. We use Postfix and another thing to send the, the spoofed email and stuff uh, like I was talking about previously. I tried to pack every single thing in that I, that I could feasibly do so that everyone kind of has a perspective of, oh, this is what this tool is. Here's what it sees. Here's the data that it outputs. And that was kind of my goal with that.